Hey folks, so I've recently had an issue where my Bluetooth headset, when connected to my Windows laptop, was bringing in additional latency, meaning that when I was attempting to watch YouTube or movies or TV shows, the lip sync was out. It was really frustrating. Now, yes, by its nature, Bluetooth does add additional latency, but it shouldn't be that notable. Now, I did get my problem fixed, and I'll show you how in this video. Now, if I just bring up my screen share with you, the first thing I'm going to recommend, this may actually solve your problem, is to go ahead and check that your Bluetooth driver on your computer is already up to date. So what we're going to do is start by typing device manager into the search bar in Windows, and then we're going to open that application. And then we're going to select the Bluetooth dropdown, and then we're going to look for an item that resembles the Bluetooth hardware that we are using. So in my case, I can see that I have Intel Wireless Bluetooth. Now, you may have Intel also, or you may have Realtek or some other additional hardware manufacturer. But for me, it's Intel. And search for the Intel Bluetooth driver. If I had a Realtek hardware Bluetooth, I would search for the Realtek Bluetooth driver. And then I will head to the Intel website and download the driver and update it. Now, before you download the driver, just check you don't already have the latest version anyway, otherwise you might just be wasting your time. Really easy to do this. So just highlight the actual driver in Device Manager, right click it, select Properties, head over to the driver tab just here, and then look at the driver version. In my case, it's 23.120, that's okay. And I can see that the latest download is also 23.120. That, as I say, is because I already updated. However, before I did so, I could see that I did need to do that update. Now, once you've updated the driver, make sure you check your Bluetooth connection again, just to see if that's fixed the issue. In fact, I recommend checking the Bluetooth connection every time we go through a step, okay, to try and fix it, to see if that was causing the problem for you. But next up, we're going to be adjusting some settings in Windows, since Windows automatically by default turns on all the bells and whistles for audio. And the problem is there's so much data being transferred that coupled with the nature of Bluetooth technology, it can cause that additional latency. So we're going to turn off a lot of those technologies. So to start disabling these settings, we're going to right click on the start icon on the taskbar and select settings. Once this has opened up, we're going to head over to the system tab on the left hand side of the screen. And from here, we're going to select sound. And from here, we want to make sure that we are hovering over the device that we're trying to fix. In this case, my Stealth 500 Bluetooth headphones. And we're going to select that. This will take us to the properties for those headphones. And what we're going to do is disable any audio enhancements so I'm going to change the option from device default effects to simply off. And we're going to change spatial sound to off. So if this has any other setting, just turn it off. Dolby Atmos tends to be a popular one. And now, again, try your headphones and see if the lip sync has been fixed. If so, hurrah, problem solved. If you're still having issues, don't worry. I'm going to get to the thing that actually solved it for me. So this next fix is actually kind of bizarre, and I don't understand why this works, but I'm telling you this 100% worked in my case. But what we're going to do is head back to the sound page on the Windows settings. Okay, we was on this a moment ago, if you remember. And we're gonna scroll down to see what mic is connected. You can see that the default setting microphone array is not actually the microphone that the headset uses. Instead, I need to select this manually. So I've gone ahead and set the Stealth 500P to be the mic that the computer is using. Even though I have no interest in using the mic when I'm watching a film or watching a TV show, making sure that the headset mic is the mic that is set as the default device when these turn on, fix that issue for me. A simple change such as that was all that was needed. But hopefully, with those few fixes, your latency should also be resolved. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you again soon. Take care.